They're like this far off the water, dude. Are they going to swim across the whole ocean? Oh, the boat. They're going to inflate their boat. What? They got to work together as teams and best friends or they're not going to make it out alive. What's up, team? We're going to be doing a reaction video to probably one of the main schools. No, it is the primary school I wish I could have gone to in the military. However, I was not qualified in any way, shape, or form to go to this school. A lot of people think it's the hardest school in the military. I don't know about that, but it is definitely very tricky and you need to be disciplined as f to go. We're talking about combat diver qualification course. I think it's super cool and I'm super excited to watch it. Coast Guard's going to watch it with us and he's going to be doing the reaction video. Hi guys, how are you doing? <laughs> Bro, I'm a second best. Okay, let's go ahead and send it and let me know down below in the comments what you guys think is the coolest school in the military, specifically the army. Oh, this is going to be fun. The ocean is the most dangerous environment to train. In. Sure is. That's dangerous as heck. Fact that you have to deal with the depths of the water, the currents, the tides. You have to deal with the Navy. They try and touch me all the time and give me kisses. I'm just like, I don't, I don't like to do that. I don't want to kiss all the time. It's kind of gross. We can put them safely in the ocean by themselves, day or night. And the nighttime? That's pretty cool. And they got fins. You guys want to see my fins real quick? I have fins too. I'm even wearing the same pants as them too. I'll show you guys my fins on my pants. These are my pants. Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Okay. Oh, my fins. This is my fins. I put duct tape on these ones because they ripped one time, but it's okay and I still wear them and it's still a lot of fun when I use my fins. Okay, that was fun. Dang, that thing is heck of big. What the f is that? Oh, I'm sorry if I cuss. It's because of the Army and Marine Corps. Sons of <laughs> Wow, that looks like not fun at all. That's very scary. Oh, there's a switch up right there. You see that? All right, guys, we're here at the Special Forces Underwater so Florida? Operation. We're going to be observing the Combat Diver Qualification Course. A really so Florida. Out, considered one of the most difficult schools that you can go to, one of the hardest badges to earn. Bruh! Dude, I seriously wish I could have gone to this school. I know dudes who have it, but to see people that you don't know have this qualification is really cool. Typically, it's a majority of like soft dudes or people who completed ranger school and then got granted a school. A lot of people chose this. A lot of people that I know failed but then a handful of people I know did pass and I, I always wish I could have gone to try out for this because I'm very confident in the water because of the chaos of the water and I truly do think training in a water environment is overwhelming it's dangerous it's crazy and it's just extremely chaotic I have a lot of respect uh, for people who completed this course it taxes you not only physically not only mentally, there's just no room for letting anybody through but the best because ultimately the ocean doesn't care about your feelings. The ocean doesn't care Does about not give you are good at. We're coming at the end of the course where everything's coming together, where they start implementing the tactics as well as their Whoa. knowledge of diving and their knowledge of waterborne operations. They're basically Navy SEALs. Look at them. Just look at it. They got a lot of cool sh Like you gotta think this is terrifying too back. this class is, is is still being a little bit impacted from the pandemic okay, it's normally a six-week course this one's only five weeks these oh, are just they got the easy that this is one of their nah, stronger probably condensed classes, and way harder that it's a condensed schedule and they're having to do more in less days but that they're doing overall very well so they had to condense the course from six weeks to four weeks and let me tell you something guys that does not make the course easier that makes it way harder because that means the criteria for the daily schedule has to get mushed an extra two weeks has to get pushed into the four week program that they have now and that means less sleep less relaxing time faster pace you have to adapt and learn much quicker because you still have to take and pass all of your exams and tests or whatever the f they want to call it here it, that, that has got to be rough dang it's heck of all back Although done the study of underwater diving techniques is not a required part of the training program at bad tools oh. so there's no way i'll get in any water with my shirt off especially if the navy is around because you never know they live in the water and uh i take my shirt off in the water before and the navy come up pop out the water maybe suck on my nipples and i did not like that at all i did not want to do it no more look yes, at their man, shorts that. They are nice. This is something people are always f talking about and a lot of people don't understand. I've seen people who are like, yeah, I know what I'm doing. I'm so f cool. I'm going to put my fins on and jump in. Look at how they're wearing their fins. You don't actually put your f fins on and jump into the water. You will f break sh that big f flipper when you jump into the water is going to hit water. It's going to feel like a more solid surface because it covers more distance, right? So when it hits. Your ankle is gonna go bite and you're gonna f your shit up. You don't jump in the water with your fins f donned. You jump with them f attached. 
As you see here. Say like dumping out the helicopter with a parachute of vent the f The water! Ooh! More more They're gonna swim in the water and it's gonna be heck of fun. I could not do this. That's crazy. The closed circuit rebreather, the LAR5, doesn't produce any bubbles. So signature as far as subsurface. Whoa, I'm trying to get this. What is this? Are those weights? Can someone tell me in the comment what the f of this is? I think it's weights. They're wearing the first spear pike hers, I think. They're wearing a the nice pant. Nice butt, dude. That's a good one. Nice butt, you too, bro. I don't want to leave you out. I like your goggles. They're way better than mine. My goggles are kind of tiny. Do I have a line on my head? No. Oh, what the f is that? These are all my goggles that I got, though. I think they're pretty f cool. You don't ask me. I don't even care what the haters say either. I know I look good in my goggles. Some say I look super X Games on my goggles too. And I'm like, thanks. I appreciate that. So yeah. This is probably one of, if not the hardest school in the army. What do you guys think is harder? This or BUDS? And BUDS specifically, not the entire f Navy SEAL pipeline. But BUDS versus Combat Diver Qualification Course. Probably to the hardest. Dang, no, nobody wears shirts. You saw this is not the Navy? I'm surprised Navy is not going to this school. What the f the safety factors and the risk uh, when it comes to diving is very high. Everyone got the cool black Ultimas for the school? I wonder if that's on the packing list. Safety I'm curious what they use to actually are, tie their fins on. I, that I do not know. I'm I wonder if it's like rubber bands so you can just break it off. To really let them know like, hey, this is maritime no, that wouldn't make it All right, it's probably like rope, do. rope. Have fun uh, out there. Oh my goodness. Are they going to be okay? Are they just, just going to leave them in the water? The I'm not leaving them. I have to go out there and I have to get them. I jump right out of the plane too. And ensure. I don't care what anybody says. Putting a Zodiac together is kind of a shit show. I think the first time I actually put a Zodiac together was with 19th group dudes. Fun fact, during Hurricane, not Irma, but Harvey, but I actually went with that same group of dudes from Harvey to Irma. They taught me the powers of reading, dude. We're like, how the f do we put this shit together, bro? This is so complicated, I don't understand. They're like, if you look here, it says step one, inflate. And then they walked us through the process and I was like, damn, I'm just a an idiot. And I processed things too fast. And they're like, yeah, don't be a an idiot. You gotta slow it down. And I was like, oh, thank you, dude. That nothing is leaking or that none of the hoses pop out. This is the only thing between you and your boat sinking. That is hack true. Y'all want your boat to sink or gonna get You guys wanna see pictures of me and Zodiac? The first time I was playing in Zodiac in the water? We're constructing them, and we're gonna check them to ensure that we don't have any failed inflations out on the water. Wow. Because that could be the most detrimental. This guy right here, for sure on Ranger Bay, you wanna know why? He's doing the cool guy pose, um, but he's not doing nothing. Everybody else working. I love the, my Ranger Bat boys, but um, it's definitely a And you can also tell because he got really nice hair, but he's not doing nothing. Nine total personnel and one UA60, nine in the other. Wow, it's look at their game faces. Right, but that's the way we so tight. So Dang, it's going to be tight like a bell. Uh, Navy, Navy sorry. Timeline. I hang out with Navy too much because we're both in the water all the time. Here, Talking about buttholes uh, and stuff. 20. The pilots are actually f crazy. That's super cool. They're like this far off the water, dude. Where are they going to swim across the whole ocean? Oh, their boat. They're going to inflate their boat. What? They got to work together as teams and best friends or they're not going to make it out of life. Wow, they did it. That is truly amazing. Yeah, I could tell all of them are best friends. Because that's the only way you can do these things is with best friendship and teamwork and stuff. So I think it's really awesome. On the ball in the ever running ball in the hole. On the ball in the ball in the hole. I like that song. Small. That's a fun one. Oh, what they going to do are now? Out here at the. Uh, the Sergeant Major Jerry D. Patton Water Drop Zone. Water Drop Zone? Underwater Operations School. Oh. We're getting into so these thingies just attach to their body and while they're diving, they can kind of keep track of where the f everybody's at so they don't accidentally lose anybody. And they're going to drop in, go subsurface, infill into about 250 meters or so. They're going to pop up, check out the, the, the beach line here. Oh my and God, they do not with, oh my God. The beach and take the beach here, so. If I saw all them come out the water like this, I'll be like, you know, chilling on the beach. I'd be like reading a book or something or like, I don't know, putting on sunscreen on my nose or something. And I see this come out the water. Oh, I'm going to be like, oh my God. I'm going to run. I'm going to be so scared. I might shit my pants. Even his hair looks good under the water. Oh, their legs must be tired. My leg get tired on my fins. I go like this. But you have to remember to start from your waist. There's like a wobble like this. With your waist, you just like that. Kind of like you're shaking your weed, and then you do it from the legs. So that way your feet and ankles don't get tired doing this. That's a good way to do it, guys. And helicopters with, with their boats, push those out into the ocean, and then they'll take those over to a, uh, a point where then they'll jock up with dive gear, 
go in and clandestinely place uh, explosives on, I believe it's two to three boats. It's really bringing everything that they've learned in this course so far to a head. Oh, I love the two plane. The two plane copters are so fun. They're so loud. They're like, chugga, 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 chugga. Yeah! Like that, bro. It gets you so hyped up. Whoa! So now they're doing an exercise to where they're sneaking into this island, sabotaging a boat as they would in real life, departing without being seen or, you know, identified or anybody of being aware of their presence being there. Uh, and they're tethered together. That's dope. South America, subset four, seven group. I, bro, I know they'd be getting caught on shit, though. This is a I know, absolutely. That's dope. In SF, they strive to be the best. And normally the dive teams are the first ones Whoa. trusted to go into any conflict. These are PCCs, PCIs. They're pre-combat checks, pre-combat inspections, whatever you want to call it. And they're just making sure that they can accomplish the mission with their equipment and they're safe as well. They have everything that's necessary to survive. This is stuff you'll do throughout the entire military and they're doing it here in the school. I'm curious to see what do you guys think is more difficult, jump school or dive school? I think leaders look at dive teams Whoa. to where they're physically fit. Two, they're hungry, very aggressive. Fire hungry and aggressive. Oh, aggressive. Dude, the heck? You don't have to be aggressive. You can be friends with everybody. Now, if you talk to Army and Marine Corps, they're going to say, F everybody. You beat the f And then if they can handle it, we can be friends. I'm just, like, just going to give you a hug and we'll be friends. I don't want to fight. No. All guys to go and conduct a mission, whether it be water or land, and they'll do the oh. right thing. The heck? That's pretty cool. Thanks.